So my video got cut off right after I talked about the warrior worshiper. I'm going to try to finish what I was saying, but I gotten several minutes in when it told me that I was cut off before it, um, you know, actually after it, it, it told me that I was cut off several minutes after it actually cut me off. Um, but what's interesting is that it cut me off when I was talking about the counterfeit. So the blessing comes uh, from walking in his heartbeat, releasing his love, releasing his character, his presence, and his anointing in our lives. But there's a beware in here of beware of the counterfeit. And this counterfeit that he's talking about is very close to the genuine. They might have good talking points, smooth speech. They might even come with power um, and charisma and um and it might be really really difficult to discern and to di to discern without really holding fast to the word and holding fast to the our own presence and relationship with the lord um or the presence of the lord within us um to see what is of god and what is not because god is saying that they're going to come in and they're already some of them are already there that have established themselves that are not his servants. They are out for themselves. And he says that the insignia of his servants are, is, are those who are content, those who are seeking and point God and pointing back to God, not pointing to themselves, not looking out for their own selfish gain, but really genuinely pointing back to the Lord and coming up underneath others and uplifting them, building them up and uh, and, and like I said, pointing them to God and God alone. Um, he says that some of them will even come with power and power workings in the spirit. And he said, don't be fooled by that. Just because somebody um, has some things happen, even miraculous things, doesn't mean that they're from God. Um, doesn't mean that they're not, but it doesn't mean that they are. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm studying out the story of Moses in Exodus right now. And pre preparing to speak on that at church. And the sorcerers did the same miracle, a lot of the same miracles that Moses did through God's power. But they were not sourced from God. Uh, so God is saying that it's going to take discernment. And I had released a prophetic word a bit ago about heightening discernment. And God is heightening discernment in his people because of this. Because there is a counterfeit, more counterfeit coming. Whenever God does something, uh, Satan will always counterfeit. Uh, sometimes uh, we might hear something that God is releasing prophetically. God is releasing to the church and then the counterfeit will come and they'll release it. But it's a little bit of a twist. It'll always place the burden on the people and not uh, walking in the grace of the Lord. It'll always bring bondage and death and, um, and they won't release life and freedom and healing. It will cause people to strive, uh, cause people to work in their own power and strength. And that's, that's kind of the, the slant that they're going to take rather than really operating in the grace and the freedom and the power of God. So always, always, always look for um, humility, contentment, pointing to Jesus, pointing to God's grace, bringing healing, bringing freedom, uh, not necessarily smooth words, charisma, uh, not necessarily even power workings because um, God is calling his people into a place of healing, freedom, strength, empowerment, not in and of ourselves, but in him. Uh, so be blessed and till next time.